Hello and welcome to my tier ranking for my fourth year classes at the University of Chicago. I've done this every single year and this is the final time, I think every single time actually, the tier titles have changed and I don't remember what I did the last three times, but this time I have five different tiers that I'm going to be placing my courses that I took this year on average better than average, good, great, life-changing. The reason the lowest is average is because I feel mean saying that a class is worse than average. I've never taken any classes here that I've actually disliked. So I kind of softened the lowest tier by calling it average because I still did like all my courses. Just another disclaimer that my ranking of these courses has nothing to do with the professors. I've said before in videos, or like when I've talked about the workload at UChicago, that I genuinely do love all my professors. I am by no means rating the professors here in this video. It's more just the content and structure of the course, which is often even beyond the professor's control depending on departmental standards. That's kind of the criteria for how much I like a class. It's also very arbitrary. It's just solely based on my mood in this moment. Yeah, and I took 12 classes and I have to say this is the hardest it's ever been, I think, to rank them because so many of them I wanted to put in the life-changing category, but you know, they can't all be life-changing. I've got to do a curve here, like a grading curve like any other class would have. I apologize to the classes that didn't get higher rank because I wanted to give them higher ranks. They all deserved high ranks. Starting off with Autumn Quarter. In Autumn Quarter, I took two creative writing classes actually, and one of them was called Environmental Writing. This was an advanced nonfiction workshop, which I was allowed to count towards the major, even though I'm concentrating in fiction, I was able to do one nonfiction course, which was actually very useful in regards to learning how to conduct an interview and implementing research into my writing that's strictly factual. So I really got a lot out of this class. I am going to put environmental writing into good, only because I feel like we didn't get to do as much workshopping as I wanted to do. There were a lot of great panelists and the readings were good. Um, it was definitely more journalism centered, I think, which is interesting, but it's just not really anything that I intend to do. I also took an advanced fiction workshop called Killing Cliche, which is all about making sure that we don't use tropey phrasings or plot lines in our writing. I will say that it just felt more like a general creative writing class than strictly about cliche, which is always a good thing. I think that we get more out of the classes if we're not so honed in on this one thing that the title happens to mention. I'm gonna put it in better than average though because I feel like while it was really good practice and experience, I don't think I gleaned anything that I wouldn't have gotten otherwise if I hadn't taken this course. Next up, Python programming with applications to astrophysics. If you watched any of my vlogs during autumn quarter and if I happen to mention Python programming with applications to astrophysics, then you might know that I was not the biggest fan of this course. It's nothing against computer programming, it's just I am not gifted at computer programming. This is a this is a me problem, not a class problem, but the homework load and the tasks that we had to do, it was really, I just, I, I, I don't want to take another computer programming class in my life. I'm glad I took this one, I don't want to do it again. I actually wish there's more astrophysics in it than there was, but I'm gonna put it into average. Sorry Python. And then and finally, Jane Austen, Gender, Capital, Desire. This course was a, a rigorous graduate level English course and we read all six of Austen's novels plus a lot of literary criticism over the course of the quarter. This class was fantastic except for the amount of literary criticism and it's not that I was opposed to the extra reading, like I get it, it's a heavy reading course. I just felt like it detracted from our ability to fully discuss Austen and a lot of the class was dependent on the students answers in the class, it was like a very class heavy discussion. I would have preferred more of it to be lecture based too. I love hearing my classmates talk but you know sometimes I just felt like we were all trying to think of things to say and all trying to jump in, um, at least for me. Maybe no one else felt that way, but like sometimes I felt like I was sitting there just thinking like, okay, what am I gonna say? Oh no, someone else said what I was going to say, that kind of thing. So anyway, Jane Austen is going to go into good. All right, so now winter quarter. I'm gonna start off with French. This was my very first time taking French in my life. It was an accelerated course that kind of combined 101 and 102 into the nine weeks because it was for romance language speakers. So since I've already done Spanish, we were able to go at a quicker pace. So other students in the class who have done Spanish as well, if you've also studied like Romanian, Italian, um, Portuguese, uh, then you're able to take this accelerated course. I am so grateful that this course even existed because it allowed me to finish an entire year of French in the span of two quarters here at UChicago. Uh, this is gonna go into life-changing, honestly, because it did change my life. Like, taking this one course, it was so much fun. It was, it was fantastic. None of the homework felt like homework. It felt like fun. <laughs> and I'm still doing it. I'm self-studying now, now that my courses have finished. So this introduction, I think, couldn't have been better to French. Major workshop. This was my thesis workshop. Each workshop was devoted to two people and it was like a deep dive into our writing. And this also is going to go into life-changing, I think because the feedback that I got in this class was phenomenal. It revolutionized my writing. The 
professor, and I know I'm not really supposed to speak about the professors, but he just gave such amazing advice. And I feel like I really grew as a writer in this class because of everything that we did. Uh, the next course is a technical seminar in creative writing, and it was called Who Sees and Who Speaks. It was basically a deep dive into POV. And it was a really great class. Um, we read some awesome short stories and we got to do a lot of little mini writing exercises. It was a relatively easy course. I will say though that, kind of like Killing Cliché, I think that while I got to practice my skills as a writer and practice writing short stories, I don't think there was really anything about POV that I might not have known beforehand. So for that reason, I'm just gonna put it into better than average because I really did enjoy it. Um, I don't really think it changed how I write. And then finally, histories of women in science. It's so funny because I love history, but when I've taken history courses at UChicago, they've just, they've never really struck a chord with me like I expect them to. I don't know why. I just always find the readings to be dry and the discussion to be dry. And I feel like I'm always stupid in the class. Like there are so many students who just have contextual knowledge of history that supplement their discussion and they know so much and I just don't know anything. <laughs> so um, again, it's my own shortcomings that have contributed to where I'm going to put this in the ranking. I'm just going to put it in average. And again, it, it was a really great course. Like I learned a lot about women's role in science during history. I guess it just didn't really do it for me in a way. Okay, now spring quarter. Oh, my spring quarter classes are so hard because I loved all of them so much. Okay, starting off with environmental politics. This is the first like political, legal, policy-based class that I've ever taken in my life. And fortunately, I liked it. If I hadn't liked it, I don't know what I'd be doing because I've already committed to law school. So it was kind of a relief that I did like it. And for that reason, it's gonna go into life-changing. I truly loved all the readings and the lectures were just so intriguing. I feel like this is a field that I could really be passionate about and I'm so grateful that I took this course. Okay, and then next we've got Scenes and Seeing. This was the same professor actually that I had for my major workshop and we read some great short stories in here and also just broke down a lot of the craft elements of scene work. It was a technical fiction workshop. There was nothing about creative writing that was off the table to discuss in here and that's kind of why I loved it. Like we talked about everything from dialogue to POV to group work to tension, atmosphere, character, suspense, all of these different elements that go into a scene. And I learned so much in here and I'm going to put it into great. I think it, it was a great course. It was really a great course. Okay. And then French, um, French 103. I absolutely love this course as well. And, and I learned so much. I feel like there was a really big focus on grammar and learning new vocabulary. And I just, I feel like I improved a lot during this last quarter, which is very exciting. So I'm going to put it into great. Okay. And then finally, the last course on here, philosophical problems in cosmology. This was my final astronomy course and oh my gosh, it was so good. We talked about free will and quantum mechanics and time. What does time mean? History of how we have gone about conducting science, all of these different things. It was very, very neat. And uh, I really want to put it in life changing, but I'm not sure if it changes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to put it into great. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say great because it was and I have to be a little bit more harsh here because if I'm not, everything's just gonna end up in the life-changing category um, because I'm really tempted to put everything there. Going through all 12 courses just makes the whole year feel so quick in retrospect. It was really a fantastic year and I'm so glad I took the courses I did. All of them, like I said, were truly amazing and I would not go back and change any of my courses if I had the opportunity to. Yeah, so this is, I mean, of course I'll do this once I'm in law school, but this is the end of my undergraduate course rankings. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that it's helpful if you're picking your courses, um, but thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful week.